everybody, Neil Betts here from Go To North. Previously spent the last 10 years with Go To North over in Australia. I'm now back in the UK, just uh, building my networks and, and getting out there in the UK. Um, I thought I'd do a, a bit of a vid video around, you know, why is a controversial question. Why is most startup advice misleading? And what should you be really doing as an aspiring entrepreneur? And you know, it is time for a bit of a tough love. I've worked with a lot of entrepreneurs and helped a lot of businesses grow and start up over the last 10 years. And you know, I've seen a lot of endless advice around overnight success, follow this formula, we'll, we'll get you millions or tens of thousands of, of, of pounds or dollars by following this formula. But the harsh truth is, most startup advice is either quite outdated or it's overly simplistic or it's just wrong, you know, it's just not right. And the reality is a startup a business is difficult and it's not about following a, a cookie cutter approach. It's about really understanding the dynamics of your market, your customers and your unique value proposition. What is it that's unique about you and the offering that you have? So here's five tips that I think you should be focusing on if you're thinking of starting up your own business. The first one is uh, quite important, uh, and that's around don't chase trends. You know, you look at what's going on with AI, and yes, AI is brilliant. I've been using it for a few years in our own business, but don't follow the trends. You know, focus on what are the real problems that you're trying to solve, who are you trying to solve those problems for, and what is your solution to solving those problems. So don't chase trends, number one. Focus on real problems, real solutions. Number two, make your customers an obsession. You know, spend more time talking with them and understanding their needs rather than perfecting your pitch. Yes, your pitch is important, but your customer needs to really drive your product or your service, not really, you know, what you think is the latest buzz thing going on. Really focus on what those customers want and be obsessed about talking to them and understanding them. The third tip is, uh, value over vanity, you know. It's very easy to get locked into how many followers I've got following trends on your website hits and the real metrics that really count in your business is clearly your business growth, you know, your, your revenue, what's coming through the door, your customers and how you retain them and value them and look after them and really, you know, those products and services that you offer and how they get adopted. That's really important. Um, and then of course, you, without any of that, you won't get that business growth. So value over vanity. Um, lean and mean is my fourth piece of advice. You don't need a fancy office. Yes, it's great to have when you get to a stage. You will need an office, but you don't need a huge team even to start up. You can do um, the lean you are, the quicker you are to start up. We've got a, a in the lean community a, a lean startup. And the lean, the lean startup is really, the, the notion of it is trying to develop a hypothesis this is what I think my product or service is going to offer. This is who it's going to be offered to. This is the value that I bring. And then testing it with the notion of failing fast. I want to work out very quickly if this is going to fail. Because if it's going to fail, then let's fail fast. Let's not spend tens of thousands developing products and services and then realise it's not actually what the customer needs. So, you know, being an efficiency coach, lean is at the heart of what I do and what I love. So lean and mean. And I guess the fifth point is one around being resilient. Startup is tough. Your ability to bounce back from knockbacks is, it, it'll determine your success. Your ability to learn from mistakes and grow is, you know, is the ability to, to be tough and resilient and, dr and drive forward. So, you know, problems are actually your friend. Um, just in saying all of this, you know, I have created a, a little ebook. Um, it's in our efficiency studio. So you can go to studio.gotruenorth.uk and you'll get to this landing page and down the bottom of the landing page you'll see that you'll have just added our Vision to Venture ebook and you can uh, go grab a free copy of your ebook and you'll see that the, the, the notion of the ebook is to try and un unlock some of the secrets and to sort of share with you an enhanced version of the Lean Canvas. You go Google Lean Canvas, you'll see it's out there. It's a great practical template to get your business page, a business plan, sorry, on a page. And it really helps you to understand, well, who's my customer? What's the unique value 
that I'm offering? What problem has the customer got? What is my service or product that's going to actually deliver that? If you jump to the efficiency studio and download the ebook, what I'm offering you is a one hour critique. So in the ebook, there's a template there for you to have a crack at with for your business, pop your business plan down on a page, follow the links that you'll be sent via email uh, and book a, an hour slot with me and I'll try and critique and guide you um, to getting started on your first journey in your new business. I hope you've enjoyed the little five minute video. Thanks for taking the time to listen. Speak to you soon.